Hey guys, this is Charles with Hot Tank Films. Uh, right now we have a, a, a dead battery in the Jeep. And uh, since I've been 13 or 14, I've been using the jumper cables. Actually, you know, this pair of jumper cables right here. You can see, you can see that they've been through a war or two. Well, anyway, uh, that's what I normally use to uh, to jump start a dead battery. You know, usually I'll, I'll use another car or Jeep, truck, you know, whatever I got handy at the time. Uh, but today we actually have a, uh, a product that was sent to us. From uh, from uh, Noco Genius Boost, and uh, it's a GB40. It uh, it will jump start a uh, vehicle up to uh, six liters if it's gas or three liters if it's diesel. So uh, it, it coming at a perfect time. So we're going to try to jump start uh, this battery with this thing. It's very small, and uh, I've already charged it up. So, but it comes with uh, comes with this bag. And has uh has these little connections that come with it and that's how small it is nice and small so i mean it's perfect for for a gift for somebody if you want to uh if you know somebody that could probably use something like that and of course here's a here, here's a, the clamps i mean they actually made really nice so uh comes with a uh a, a cigarette lighter thing and uh, of course a, a usb cable Plug it into a cigarette lighter and charge it back up. I've already charged my. I've already charged this one up uh, in a wall socket, so it's uh, it's good to go. But uh, it's got the USB out if you want to charge a phone or a tablet or whatever, and, th and that's the end part where you charge it. So that's actually you know, small too. So the cable will plug right in here. I've never used this uh, as as its intended use before, so. Just go along with me. And of course, uh, if you're not used to jump starting something, norm normally the positive cables have a red wires going to it. The negative has black. But on some vehicles, some people switch them up, and and uh, you don't know what's what. But anyway, there's always going to be a positive sign. You can see it's underneath the cable there uh, for the positive and a negative sign uh, for the negative. You know, plus, minus, negative. You know what I mean. Anyway, so we're going to try this thing out and uh, almost battery it's a, a 65 series and it's it's dead you know so we're gonna, we're gonna try it out here in a second just to show you that this battery is, is dead i got the time lights come on you can see they're dim and that's 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 all the battery she's got they include a nice instruction manual on, on how to do everything and uh, you want to hook it up and then leave it on for 30 seconds let it get some uh, charge to it so uh, after uh, 30 seconds is up you, you can try it and if, you, if you're not successful the first time you're supposed to wait 15 uh, put it on there for 15 minutes and then try it again so charging up uh, my f uh, phone at different events and stuff and it's been real successful at that and uh, it actually has some uh, uh, flashlights on it that's uh, pretty neat and SOS and whatnot and strobes I'll show those when it's dark, but uh, so far I'm pretty happy with it. It's, it's real, it's real handy to be able to charge stuff up uh, when you're out uh, camping or full moon or, or or whatever, you know. So nice and compact. You can you can throw it in a toolbox and it won't take take up much space. And uh, of course, if you're by yourself, you don't you don't need these you don't need these jumper cables because you know, if you're by yourself, you know it's going to jump you anyway. So definitely nice to have it. There's a tenth one. Well, on, on the first shot, it started right up, no, no problem. That's a uh, pretty awesome. Pretty sweet. Just out of curiosity, I know, I know it no longer ran. It's, it's not enough to. It's not enough to charge it, so I'm going to see how it acts this time. As you can <laughs> with the, uh... It's amazing how something so small can can charge up this huge battery and, uh, <laughs> and turn over this uh, 4.7 V8. It, it 
works on this uh, 4.7 liter flawlessly. That's awesome. Got a, a new place to store these. All right, guys, it's a little bit darker here. I was going to show you the, uh, the flashlight features of it. It's got uh, three different settings for uh, just like a, a normal uh, flashlight. And it's got an SOS setting and like a hazard, like a hazard set you can set on the top of uh, your car and, and uh, on the side of the road and people will be able to see you. you hold it down for like a second. It comes on. That's, that's, that one's really bright. Okay, you can, you can you know, see whatever's going on. And you can push it again. Push it again. It'll, it'll dim down. Push it again, a little bit dimmer. And again, it'll uh, do like an SOS. And then uh, one more setting. It'll go to kind of like a like a hazard. You set, set it on top of a, a vehicle. It'll uh, you know let people know that uh, you broke down or whatever. So yeah, it comes with the, uh, comes with the flashlight. It's got the USB output for uh, you know uh, tablets, cell phones, and uh, stuff like that. Pretty, pretty handy to have, especially when you're camping and whatnot. And uh, if you if y'all want to check this check this thing out and put uh, put links in the description box uh, where you can purchase it and go to their uh, the NoCo site and uh, and check out all their products. Uh, obviously, it works pretty awesome. I'm tickled to have it. So put it in the Jeep in case uh, I have a dead, dead battery out on the trail or or uh, camping and uh, running the battery down, charging up something. I can uh, I can jump the battery. So pretty sweet.